Who or what was your biggest musical influence? Well, it was a, an occasion that happened when I was only 12. I just arrived in Australia and um, I was listening to ABC radio and uh, all of a sudden I heard on the Saturday morning, it was a sunny Saturday morning, uh, the strains of the Moonlight Sonata. And I'd never heard, had heard anything so beautiful. It was absolutely serene. Time stood still for me, and that moment could have gone on forever and I would have been in heaven. And that was probably the, the, the time when I made a decision that if I'm going to live life on this earth, I'm going to be involved with music, and I wanted to be involved with music. Why did you finally agree to record all the Beethoven sonatas? What was the uh, reason for that? Well, first of all, I've had a great love affair with the music of Beethoven throughout my life. I've always performed Beethoven in concerts. Uh, and literally in every recital I do, I, 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 I play at least one Beethoven sonata or some of the short pi shorter pieces. Um, but it was like a gift from heaven in a way because uh, not many people are given the chance to actually record all these sonatas because this is like a dream. For a pianist, this is a dream. To, to be able to sit down and refine and put on for the record, put, 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 record these things for the record for perpetuity. And it can never be taken away from me. And I'm really thrilled that this has happened to me. So, John, why, why did you choose the Stuart Piano for this project? The Stuart Piano, in my opinion, has exactly the right colour that I envisage that Beethoven had in his, in his inner ear because he was unhappy with the forte piano of the time. And in my opinion, the Stuart Piano has the colour of the forte piano. It's got the clarity of distinction between the different registers uh, that the uh, forte piano has, but it has the power of a modern piano. So it, it has the combination of both those factors and uh, hence it's perfect for this repertoire. So Gerard, are you glad it's all over and will you miss Beethoven? Well, I'm very glad that this particular project is over, but I'm never going to miss Beethoven because, because I'm not going to leave him behind. I mean, I'm going to continue working on Beethoven. And in fact, when I listen to my own recordings, there is always something that I know that I could have done differently and that I am evolving as a person and I will change in my own performances, but I'm very happy to have uh, completed this project.